Hi everybody, this is Dan and today I'll be doing a tutorial on medical slash healing. I'll also be telling you the most efficient way to use them. As you can see in the table in front of you, it lists the various items from the large medikit all the way to this range. It shows you how much each item costs, how many times it can be used, that being the charge rate, and also how many skill points in medical you need to use that item. And finally, how many health points it heals per single use. Now of course to view the table that you've seen previously, you can go to the AMG Mercenaries Guide. The tab below, it's called Toolkits and Medicals and Items, it'll be there. You just view the description in the video and you'll see where the link is. Now, I hear ya. to continue our healing tutorial, here you'll have the five items that I've mentioned before. From the, bon uh, the bandage to the medikit to the large medikit, they end up doing additional things. For example, the bandage also stops bleeding. The medikit stops bleeding and heals wounds, and of course the large medikit does that as well. Just substantially better, because its efficiency is 60. In this sense, now let's damage our yes. players and see how to Got use it. the medikit the best way. Copy that. Got it. As you can see now, I damaged steroid, and steroid is bleeding because you have this droplet of blood here. Now, to stop bleeding, you need actually a specific uh, healing item. So this one, the bandage, stops bleeding, so I can use this. The medikit also stops bleeding and wounds, and the large medikit also stops bleeding and wounds. Obviously, the canteen and the syringe don't do that, so it's pointless. So you can't really use these because they really won't help much. So what I have to do to actually help steroid is I can use the bandage. Again, if I go to steroid and see his stats, he has 61 from 97. It means he's missing around, I don't know, 36, 36 health points. Now, if I use the large medicate, the large medicate's efficiency is 60, so that's overkill. I really need only around 40 points to heal him. So 60 is overkill. The next up is the standard medikit, which is 40 points, that heals, you know, and then the bandage is 30. So if I heal him with the bandage now, he's still going to be missing some health points. So might as well just use the standard smaller medikit, and it'll overheal him by 3 health points, but it's not such a big waste. You know, in the beginning it is a big deal because you don't want to waste your medikits because you don't have a lot of them, and maybe later on in the game as well. So it really depends on how you're playing the game. So I don't want to waste using up my large medikits, and I don't want to waste using up my bandages. You know, the bandages will leave him with 7 health, or I don't know, what was it, no, 3 health or something. And the large medikit is overkill, it's 20 health plus, let's say if he's around 40. And then the medikit itself will heal him 40 health points, even if I just need 37. So now, we go to his health, it's 61. So this should completely heal him now. So what you do is... When you have it equipped, you can directly right-click steroid, as you can see. I'm hit. Or I can left-click the item and then right-click him. Since he's bleeding, you can tell he keeps losing health over some time. So let's Copy heal him that. now. Ah, looking for something to do. Well, he healed up. Awaiting order. Of course, now he lost the health that. Uh, he was bleeding with. So for example, if I got him right in the beginning, he wouldn't have lost the health points, which was I think two in the first time he got hit, and three health points in the second time he got hit, or something like that. I'm not quite sure, hold on, I didn't see it. So in general, he just lost two two health points since he was bleeding, not the actual initial three that I thought, since we healed those up. So now he's just missing two health points. It's not just a big deal. We can let that go. You know? I hear hold on, you. let's keep him where he was. I hear you. Now, Ira on the other hand, let's check her damage out. She has 43 from 13, so I'm missing 30. 30 health points. I can either use the syringe or I can use the bandage. Now, the bandage itself, it stops bleeding. So I don't want to waste an item that stops bleeding and wounds, since that is sort of a, you can say, a higher quality item. You know, the canteen itself heals 50. You know, it's a one time, it's, I can only use it once, but it's overkill again by 20 points. Or have the syringes. The syringes heal exactly what I need. The syringes heal the 30 health points. You know, I can use them twice. The only disadvantage with the syringes is that you can only use four a day per person. So, for example, if Ira keeps getting damaged, I can keep injecting her with the syringe. After the fourth syringe is injected, the fifth one it won't allow me to inject the fifth one because the maximum amount of syringes per person 
is 4. So in this case, I can use the syringe to be the most effective way of healing somebody without wasting additional resources. So what I'm going to do is, is take MD. Again, he's equipped with the actual syringe and directly I can right click item. Got it. Looking for something to do. As you can yeah. see, she has healed up to the point where she can since her actual damage, she has been previously damaged and won't go any higher. So she healed up to the only point that she can. You know, because the bar is there. Copy that. She got knocked out and the bar goes down, the health bar goes down. To actually increase the health bar itself, you'll need to go to the map. So we'll go to the map now and let some time pass. But Now, once you're in the map, all you can do is then click your squad and you'll see the damages. Ira, as you can see, the bar is lower. And then we'll let the time pass. You can just let, you can call this sort of sleeping like in GA1. As you can see, the bar slowly goes up. Let's speed the time up now. It's jumping higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And higher. Ira is nearly done. Nearly done. Ira's done. So now we go back in, which you can use this enter location. And it's night time. As you can see now, Ira is completely healed up and she doesn't have any more of the black bar, which limits her maximum health. Now, mm, as I mentioned before, Ready? for you I'm to have the black bar, it means you need to be waiting. knocked out. So, let me give you an example. Mm. Steroid here, as you can see, has complete pure health. I hear you. We're going to use MD okay. to completely knock Got him it. out. So, there we go. Got it. If he's normally damaged yeah. and you heal him, he won't get the black, for example, normally. See, now he is bleeding. Now, to stop bleeding, I'd use most probably either the bandages or the large medikit or the medikit itself. But I just want to show you what how does the actual maximum health decrease is when he gets knocked out by damage. So, let's do another shot. There we go. And as you can see, suddenly the health bar jumped down because we knocked him out. And now he's not only bleeding, but he's also wounded again. So what we're going to use is use the large medikit, of course, since we have a lot of healing to do, which also covers the bleeding and the wounds. So now we're going to right-click okay. steroid. Looking for something to Get him back on the speed. As you can see, he woke up. He's all good. But because he got heavily damaged, you can see that his health bar drastically reduced. Now, to increase the actual base health, again, I'm gonna have to go to the world map and let time pass. I'll do it. Let's move on. Uh -huh. Now you have a different, as you saw previously with steroid, he got wounds and he got bleeding. Yeah. Now the funny thing is, you can't use the bandage to heal somebody who has wounds. It'll increase his health, okay. You can actually use the bandage for somebody who is only damaged with wounds. I believe the wounds is a plus sign. So for example, steroid is wounded only. Okay. I can use the bandages to heal him. It'll only increase his health, but it won't stop the wound. It won't it won't close the wound. Let's put it this way. It won't close the wound. So he'll keep bleeding out or whatever. Yeah. From the wound itself. He'll keep bleeding out from the wound or losing a life from the wound. You need an item yeah. that stops wounds. This is the disadvantages of the bandages. The bandages only stop bleeding. The only thing that stops wounds and bleeding is the medikit and the large medikit. All the other items don't. So in case he's wounded, you need to get a medikit or a large medikit. You know, some people might freak out because they keep healing somebody and he's not actually being healed. Why? It's because you're just using the wrong item. You need to use the correct item that actually prevents that from happening. Overall, in the beginning, try not to use the large and standard medikits or bandages, as they stop bleeding, wounds, or both. Try to use up all the canteens and syringes. Furthermore, try to calculate how much health is really needed to heal, and in accordance to that, you can use the correct items that don't overheal or underheal as much. Also, if the mercenary is bleeding and you got bandages, use them up first. So if your mercenary is bleeding and his health is 20 from 70, and you got a standard medikit, not the large one, and in addition, you also got some bandages and syringes. What you do is, you use the bandages to stop the bleeding first, leaving your mercenary with 50 health from 70. 
After that you use the syringe. Since the mercenary is no longer bleeding or wounded, try to use what I call the trash items to finish him up and get rid of them. Always firstly stop bleeding or wounds, then use the syringes and canteens to finish them up. If you don't have them, then use the bandages, and then the standard medikit, and then of course finally the large medikit. Later on in the game, it does not become such a big issue, as you can always order in a large amount of medikits from Bobby Ray and stock them up. As later on, it becomes too much of a hassle to be bothered to deal with various items. But at least now you know everything you need to know about healing and in using items in the most efficient way. Use this in the beginning as it will save up a lot of healing items and will allow you to keep a safe amount of healing items in reserves. Also, I know some of you prefer not to equip your mercenaries with armor since it's heavy, but armor does prevent the total damage done by the weapon, which in turn means less damage to heal and less charges to be used up to heal your mercenaries. Also, it's a good thing to keep in mind that once you reach the item requisite, meaning you need 80 points in your medical to use the large medikit, there really is no point in adding any more to medical, as you will always heal the same amount done by the medikit, that being its efficiency rate, which is 60. I'm not sure if it's supposed to work that way. I presumed that you have a random chance to heal anywhere between 0 and 60, depending on your medical, and the higher your medical is, the higher chance you hit the 60 mark. But here it works only two ways. Either you're not successful and it uses up one charge, healing, zero points, or you are successful and it heals the 60 points. It may change later on, and if it does, I'll just add it in the description. But till then, just stop adding points once you reach your item prerequisite. Of course, it doesn't mean you stop adding points to your marksmanship and other skills or attributes, just because you can already use that item. But in regards to medical, yes. Well, this is it. As always, this is Dan. Happy gaming and see you again next time.